son's name is Ha Ha. He is handsome and shy, but he cannot speak. He is a gift given to me by God. When he was two, he had a fever. Before this fever, he could speak and recognize pictures. But after that, we found his language and intellect degraded. He became silent, wanting to be alone. Gradually, he did not speak at all. Doctors in Guiyang told me it was autism. Our family life became chaotic. In the beginning, we knew nothing about autism and were blindly optimistic, thinking our son would recover with treatment. It turned out it would be an incurable disease that would last his lifetime. It was then I made up my mind to start a school and create a community of families to help each other. Each school day, there are 11 periods, six in the morning and five in the afternoon. We set our courses based on each child's character and ability. We also provide guidance for the parents. My son is Meng Jingyi. He is like a monkey jumping up and down most of the time. Doctors said he was suffering from autism. It shocked me. I couldn't accept it. I couldn't believe this would happen to my little baby and my family. I even thought about committing suicide until I watched the movie. The ocean heaven. It started me thinking, if other people can embrace their autistic children, then why couldn't I? If I died, my sweetheart would have roamed about in the street as those wandering cats and dogs. I realized only I could give him a happy life, performing my duties as his mother. On the internet, we found the autism school run by Mrs. Zhao. I sent my baby there. There's been a great change in him. He can understand what people say to him and give responses. Before, he could only say mother, but now he can speak words such as father, aunt, socks. When I used to ask him to walk with me, he did. But there was no eye contact between us. After going to school, he gradually learned some life skills to communicate. It's really helpful. I never considered having a second child. I just want him because he is my whole world. That's my daughter. Before she was one year and two months old, the doctor had diagnosed her with autism, mental retardation, and congenital cataract. I can't describe the feeling of it. I am just an ordinary person. Three diseases, that's too much. It changed my whole life. I found Mrs. Zhao's school. We were lucky. She changed a lot. Before, she did not share affection feelings with her family. Now these feelings grow. My daughter and I are like friends. Sometimes she calls me sister. Sometimes she asks to be the mom. And I am the daughter. We get along with each other very well. She's now in grade one in primary school. She has a friend in school, a little boy. She likes him. The boy told me he couldn't fully understand my daughter's words. I think the situation will change next semester. I think it is a great love from all the teachers and Mrs. Zhao that makes the school great. It's definitely a kind of true love. I feel sorry for devoting much of my time to the school. 
I'm sure I'm not a good mother. I leave so little to spend with Hao Hao. Our goal is for the children that can to go to normal school, even though I know Hao Hao will never be able to go to a normal school. Different people have different lives. This is the best way for him to live his life. And I respect that. I respect life.